Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to make an automatic dropper, which can be used for tycoons. We'll start by taking this old model and delete the uh, green button, because we won't be needing that. Then we're gonna make a block, like uh, this. I don't know if you you can make it whatever you want. You can have a mesh plate or something. I already have one, but you make a block, or if you already have one, uh, place it under here where it's supposed to be dropped, like uh, kind of symmetrical too. Then, then when you're done, you rename it. I'm gonna re you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name my block one, but I already have one. So then you take this block one and put it in replicated storage. But I already have one. Actually, no, I don't. Okay, let's make another one, which is called block one. Let's just, I'm just gonna use this. To first anchor this, not anchor, group it. Name it, I'm gonna name my auto dropper. And I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, everything's anchored. Then I go into here, press plus, and then add a script. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name my auto drop. No, I'm gonna do my drop. So in here, you're gonna type local that's not it delete that you type local block one equals and uh, game dot replicated storage dot block block one then you go down and we're gonna use uh, while true which will basically loop it and uh, so uh, we're gonna type while true do game dot replicated storage dot block one clone clone like that dot parent equals game dot uh, workspace and then we're gonna do here's where you're gonna add a wait if you want it to wait like one second zero point five yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep minus zero point five so that's how you do it there's another way where you can do this uh, instead of putting the block exactly under here but then you have to use Victor 3. I made a video about it, and uh, yeah, I, I can use it, but I'm just gonna make this simple. Uh, I might add another part when I where I do this with Victor 3. So yeah, if this video is a little bit longer, that's why. But if you don't want to use Victor 3, you can do this. Now, you just press play. And then yeah, it should work uh, <laughs> unless the part is anchored. Is it? Oh no. Okay, mine has a weld. Uh, it should work, but mine just has a weld in it, so that's why I gotta delete the weld. Weld is where it will get stuck into something if it's touching it. Like I don't, I don't really know how to uh, explain it, but that's how you make it. Now it will load it for and uh, not load it forever. Use it. Um, it loads scripts, and while it's true. Well, this is true it will do this and then it will wait it's it's basically a loop that's one of the loops you can also do use repeat but i don't really know how to use that it's kind of confusing for me um my output should be up here too okay so we should see here yeah these are just animated uh plugin errors yeah so that should be it uh thanks for watching uh, and see you guys